Welcome back. Now, Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Alfred Mutua has stated that the government is working on compensation of victims of human wildlife conflict, attributing the delay in compensation to lack of funds. Mutua was speaking before a Senate plenary where he also assured that the disbursement of the funds have begun, including to Tana River, where the victims have already received a 77 million shillings compensation. Listen in. Tourism says Alfred Motua has for the first time since moved to the Tourism Ministry appeared before the Senate plenary to respond to a myriad of issues among them, while left conflict in various parts of the country as well as measures to be implemented to improve tourism in the country. According to Mutua, there are plans to compensate victims of human wildlife conflict, assuring that the government is yet to approve funds for the composition of those affected. So if this house can help us raise another, get another five billion, we'll be able to compensate everyone. I'm also changing the way the system is run to ensure there is a faster response system and also to ensure there isn't uh, fraud. Mutua further expressed the need for the country to expand the tourist sites other than the usual big faithful life and the beaches of the Kenyan coast, but instead give room for tourists to explore the beach of Kenya at the county levels, a statement that was echoed by the speaker Hilary Sigay. We have got so much to offer in this country. I was the governor of Machakos. In Machakos, we've got the hill where water flows upwards. It's like a miracle. You know, you put your car on neutral, on a hill, the car goes upwards, not downwards on a hill, you know, and the world should be flocking to Machakos to see that. But we've not had a concerted effort, and I'm going to put a concerted effort to promote what each, each county has. The, the miracle that you said about uh, the Ngelani Hills, uh, I must admit that I, I experienced this uh, a week ago when we had gone to Ngelani for a petition that was filed by Senator Kavindu. And I challenge Senator Kavindu as well as the area member of parliament, uh, Honorable Kalem, to document that because it's true what the Honorable Sears has said. Regarding reports of harassment of tourists at the JKIA and the plans that the government has installed to alleviate the situation, Mutua noted that plans are underway to smoothen operations at the Jomo Kenyatta Airport to avoid harassment of tourists, stating that the focus should be made more on marketing Kenya as a tourist destination and not only to charge taxes. Uh, for uh, roads and transport, held a very important meeting with his team and he has initiated procedures and changes that will be undertaken to make sure that the airport is operating properly in many ways, from its physical perspective, to the way the operations run, to the way visitors are received. We're working closely together. A call was also issued to the Kenya Wildlife Service, KWS, to create awareness campaigns within communities living with wildlife to sensitize residents on different types of animals and how to handle them to reduce human wildlife conflict. Masiwanji 